Hey guys, this is going to be a implementation tutorial for the simple multiplayer chat system. Um, I'm gonna show off the implementation using one of the templates that come with the Unreal Engine, and um, it should be exact. It should be pretty much the same within your own existing project. Um, I'm gonna start by creating a project. I'm gonna use a third-person template for this. I'll name my project and I'm going to create it I'm going to wait for the, to, for the editor to open up and once the editor opens I'm going to close it so I can add the chat system from the launcher to my project just gonna close this. I'm gonna go to my launcher and on the simple multiplayer chat system just going to add to project and click chat tutorial and add to project. Now I can reopen the chat tutorial and proceed with the actual implementation tutorial. So what I'm gonna do first is what we need to do first is we need to go to our HUD blueprint. By default, third-person template does not come with a HUD. So what we need to do is we need to go to World Settings and in Game Mode Override select My Game, and we're just going to create a new HUD. Just name it. tutorial HUD and click OK and this will create an empty default HUD. What we want to do now is go to the event graph of the HUD and get event begin play and we want to call function call setup This function is available thanks to a blueprint li function library that comes with the chat system. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new variable. I'm going to call it chat system or just chat. Name does not really matter. The type we are going to set to chat window, which is our the, which is the class of the the chat widget. What we're going to do is set this to public by clicking the little eye icon and we're going to drag it into our event graph and set. And we want to set it to the output of the setup chat. Just compile, save and that's it for all we need to do within the HUD. We can close this now and we're going to go into our character blueprint. And we first thing we're gonna do is create a new variable, variable, and we're going to call this variable chat. And again, we're going to set the variable type to chat window. And we're gonna get event begin play. And first thing we're gonna do is get a delay node. And we're going to set the duration to 0.5. This is done to make sure that the next part we're going to do is going to retrieve the HUD. But this is done to make sure that there, that enough time has passed to make sure that the HUD has been actually created. Because if you don't have a delay there, then there's a chance that the, the that this event gets triggered before the HUD gets created, and then the the chain fails. So that's why we had the delay there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get player controller. Get player controller. And we're going to get HUD. We're going to cast the return value of this HUD node and we're going to cast it into our custom HUD which in this case is tutorial HUD.
on a successful cast what we want to do we want to set our chat variable and we want to set it to the chat variable of the HUD so we're gonna get as tutorial HUD and we're gonna do get chat and just gonna plug it in here that's all we need to do for the event begin play next we're going to do is we're going to implement a chat interface which is basically a set of functions that are used for the chat to inform the the character blueprint that there has been a new message sent so we're just gonna go to blueprint props scroll down and click add under interfaces and select chat what this will do, it will give us access to two functions. One of those functions is get player name. We're gonna open get player name, and what we need to do is get player state. From player state, we want to get player name. So get player name. I'm just gonna plug it into the return node. and um, player state is always replicated so that we don't have to worry about replication of that variable so we can always get the up-to-date name of the player we don't have to worry about having to manually replicate it to the server then then from server in from all the clients what we're gonna do now is we're going to go to our event graph and what we are going to do is we need to get update chat event update chat and this event is called whenever a new chat message is sent so the 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 chat widget informs the character blueprint that there has a new message sent and what we need to do, we need to handle this message. So what first thing we want to do is we want to pass this message to the server. So we are going to create a custom event, add custom event. And we're going to name this chat update server. We're going to set the replication to run on server and we are going to add a new input. I call this input chat message. I'm going to set the type of this input to chat message struct. And from event update chat, we are going to call chat update server. Chat update server. And we're going to pass in the message. So now what we've done is every time a message is sent the player blueprint is informed and it passes the message to the server what the server will do the server will pass the message on to every client and inform them that there has been a new message so we need to, we need another custom event custom add custom event again and this time we're going to call it chat update client and Again, we're going to set a replication, but this time to multicast. We are also going to create a new input, and we are going to name this input chat message, and set its type again to chat message struct. We want the chat update, chat update server, to call chat update client, and pass in the message. just try it again chat update client and pass in the message um, now that the server informs every client that there has been a new chat message we want to actually update the chat window and handle the message so if there's a if it is a whisper and if you are a receiver then add it to the chat and so on so what we need to do we need to get our chat variable and we are going to call 
update chat and we want to get the call function not the not the chat function we want to update chat from the call function category we're going to pass in the chat message and what this will do it will inform the chat widget that there is a new message and it will give it a new message and the chat widget actually handles all the logic behind displaying it and so on so that's all we need to do to actually add the chat widget to our to our HUD and to our project. But we're gonna do we're gonna do one more small thing. By default, if I'm now if I now run the game, I will have the the chat widget there, but I don't see the mouse cursor by default. So I have no way of activating the chat widget. What you can actually do in the editor is you can press Shift F1 and it will give you the mouse control and you can then click the widget and type whatever message you need click send or press enter to send but this is not ideal and probably in the final implementation of your game you would not have something like this so what we are going to do we are going to create and we want to set focus to the chat window on a key press so in this case I'm gonna use the enter key so I'm gonna get key event enter and what I'm gonna do is when it's pressed I want to get the chat and the chat windows message which is a part of the chat window that handles the message where you actually the part where you actually type in the message that you want to send and we want to set keyboard focus just gonna connect this to the pressed event on the enter event and that's it that's all we need to do in this case and now I'm just gonna set number of lines to two now if I press play we have uh, we have two clients and you can do you can press enter and you can see that we can now type in the chat window and also you can see that the message that we have sent appears to be green and the message that the other clients receive will be white as long as it's a global message you can send either global messages which you just just type in your message and click send or you can you can send whisper messages whisper messages are sent by doing forward slash w and type in the character name if the character does not exist it will say error can't find player um, you can also set a character name by calling set name and typing in whatever name you want. You can also call this from within blueprints and pass in whatever name you want for that certain character. So if you you may may have your server pass in the name assign a name to a player based on their login information or something like that so you can actually call the function from blueprints um, in this case we're going to set name to Lord Destroyer um, I'm using a underscore here because if I were to use a space then it would set its name to Lord because it would it would just get it would just detect that set name is the command that we that we are executing and it will get the next it will get the next part of the message and the message is separated by spaces so the next so we would get just Lord so we cannot use spaces in the character names but we can use special symbols such as underscores so I'm just gonna set the name and we'll say change name to Lord Destroyer if the name already existed um, for example if I go here and I try to do set name Lord Destroyer. We'll say player name is already taken and it will not change the name. Um, what I can also do is I can whisper using that player name so I can whisper Lord Destroyer. And you can see it appears purple or pink. And it will say whisper to and the name of the player that we're whispering to and the actual message. And if I go here, 
you can see whisper from and the name of the player that has sent the whisper to us and the actual message is sent. Of course the messages are time stamped. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that yeah, pretty much. Um, so I'm gonna show that if the if the messages fill up the entire window, then the window becomes scrollable, as you can see. You can and it always automatically scrolls down when a new message is received scrolls down to the bottom so it always shows the newest message on the bottom and yeah that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions then feel free to ask either by leaving a comment or contacting me either on by either by email on steam or on skype um, you can find those details in any of my products on the marketplace just when you click the product in the there is a support cutting support section and will we'll give you my contact details there um, you can also of course leave a comment or you can cont contact me on forums um, there are uh, there's gonna be link below the video to the official forum thread on the Unreal forums so you can just leave a comment there and yeah that's it so yeah, we can see everything works as it should. Pretty simple. If you have any feature requests, also feel free to contact me. And yeah, that's it. So goodbye.